Hi and welcome to Studio 90. I'm Heather Soltis at FedEx Field where the 2012 National Soccer Hall of Fame induction ceremony was held ahead of the U.S. men's national team's game against Brazil. Four U.S. soccer greats were inducted to the Hall of Fame, including men's national team stars Tony Miola, Claudio Reyna, and Desmond Armstrong, and former women's national team head coach Tony DeChico. Miola, Armstrong, and DeChico all spoke with Studio 90 about receiving the highest honor in U.S. soccer. It's a huge honor. Um, I don't know that this is all sank in just yet. It's just, it's, um, I want to get past this speech today, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. But I'm thrilled, I'm honored, um, you know, for our sport and for any sport, this is the pinnacle. Um, I can't say that this is what I played for. Um, this is just the product, I guess, of a lot of years of, of hard work and dedication. Uh, I'm just truly honored just to be included with a lot of the pioneers of the game that have preceded me, not just within my generation, but before my generation, and to be included in that list of individuals to say that we were hallmarks for the growth of the game, the future of the game, and just part of that legacy. I think it's going to be great for me to have my kids here, um, to see that they can look towards something of pride, that their father has done something, that they're a part of it. And then also some young players that are coming in behind us, our national team right now, and other players that are coming behind that, to say that, hey, if these guys were able to forge this way, then maybe we can extend it and grow it and solidify it on the world stage. It's a great honor. I'm humbled by, the, you know, the other inductees and what they've accomplished. Um, and, you know, this isn't a solitary achievement. Obviously, it's a team sport, and uh, I've had a lot of great coaches that I've learned from and a lot of players that have done a lot of special things to help me reach this pinnacle. So I'm very honored, very humbled, and uh, excited about today. Everyone asks me, why didn't you go to Europe? I took pride in promoting the game in the United States. It was, I always looked at it as we had two jobs. One was to play, and the other was to promote. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I took it seriously that we needed to help grow the game here. Um, I'm all for guys going overseas and doing what they have to do. That was just the path I wanted to take. And, um, you know, it came in a period of time where there weren't a lot of soccer players that were recognizable, and we did some good things on the field that helped, for sure. Um, and I just feel blessed by the whole thing. I don't, it's, it's hard to explain. I never thought I'd be here. The veterans category really signifies the players who have gone before us who really know good players. You know, you have your peers actually voting for you to get into the Hall of Fame in that category. So for me, I'm, I'm humbled by it because they thought that I was good enough to actually get into the hall to be a part of their group. And so I'm just delighted. As a builder, I look at many of the people that have built our sport um, in America, and I'm just fortunate to be considered in that category. I was the first American ever to play in Brazil professionally. I'm from Washington, D.C., and so we're playing in my home turf, so to speak. So those two factors, um, and then the USA versus Brazil, of course, uh, young stars of Brazil, the next World Cup coming in the next two years. We're in a fantastic stadium. I mean, it's like icing on a cake for me. The National Soccer Hall of Fame was established in 1950, and nearly 300 members have been inducted for their contributions to soccer in this country on and off the field. Thanks for watching this Hall of Fame edition of Studio 90 from Landover, Maryland.